Hi students, let's look at question 4. So question 4, right, this one is part under chapter 5.2 on forming equations and solving it. Okay, so for question 4, we have you have noticed this question in SLS, so let me go through with you step by step. What does it mean? Okay, so first thing, whenever you see this type of question, right, the first thing to do is to highlight or underline any keywords. So this person has three fewer $50 notes as compared to $10 notes. And the total value of the notes is $330. And let the number of $50 notes be X. Find an expression in terms of X for the number of $10 notes that this person has. So first thing, let's write down. So since the number of $50 notes is X and there are three fewer $50 notes as compared to $10 notes, that means the number of $10 notes will be X plus three. So this is it for part one. So in part two, right, they ask us to form an equation so in part 2, they ask us to find out how many $10 notes are there. So in order for us to do that, we need to form an equation first. So what type of equation can we form? So always look at the information given to us in the question. So in this case, the value given to us is in money. Money. That means our equation will be in terms of money as well. So my equation, we have to use money. So how do I get this money out? So first thing, I need to multiply to find out the value of the $50 notes and the $10 notes. So the value of $50 notes what will it be? So if one note is $50, if I have X of them, how much will this $50 notes worth? It will be 50 times X, 50X. So what will be the value of the $10 notes? Similarly, it will be one note of $10 worth $10. If I have X plus 3 $10 notes, it will be 10 times X plus 3. So all these in, are in terms of money, money. And they tell us that the total value of the notes is $330. So since we have found the value of $50 notes and the value of $10 notes, we can equate them together. So my equation will be 50x plus 10 times x plus 3 equals to 330. So all I need to do now is very straightforward. Once I have the equation, simplify it and solve it. So since there's a bracket here, I need to expand out. So I know that for bracket, what does it represent? It represents times. So 10 times x, 10 times 3. So 50x, plus 10x plus 30 equals to 330. So now the next step will be to simplify it. Okay, so let me continue over here. So I can see like terms, so I can simplify them together. So this tells me that 60x plus 30 equals to 330. So in order to find out why 60x, I need to subtract both sides of the equation by 30. So once I subtract and simplify, 60x equals to 300. So in this case, right, it means that 60 units is equal to 300. So you can treat the x in terms of units, so you won't be so frightened about it. 
So this one will be similar to what we have learned in primary school. So x, right, it just represents a unit. So 60 units equals to 300. So one unit will be 300 divided by 60. So x equals to 5, no, equals to 5. But what does the question ask us to find out? They ask us to find the number of $10 notes that he have. And I know that the expression for the $10 notes is x plus 3. So how to find the number of $10 notes? I take x, which is 5. So number of $10 notes is x plus 3. So the number of $10 notes will be 5 plus 3 equals to 8. So I have 8 $10 notes. So this question here involves money. And my equation have to be in money. Thank you.